Hi, beautiful. Today we're hacking at some TikTok hacks. I've done this before and the hacks got crazy. To prepare for today's video, I probably watched 300 different hair hacks. I feel like I'm bringing some cool shit to the table here today. I'm interested to see if these things actually work, if I can actually do them, if they're easy enough for you to do, and if I ultimately think the hack is worth the try. Let's see if these hacks are something you should try on your own hair at home. Let's hack away, baby. What do you guys think about um, the dreadlocks? I'm feeling bright and powerful and fiery and I'm into it. It's definitely a lot, but like, when am I not a lot? Okay, up first we have a TikTok by That Missy Chick and we're gonna learn a fast way of tying our hair up with no ties included. Okay, what was that? How did she do that? <laughs> what kind of, what? Well, I'll be damned. I'll be damned, girl, I would be Damn, if I were you too. I don't even know how you guys did that. I'm gonna attempt to do it, but that was really well done and it was really swift and quick and it looked like magic. Okay, wait. Oh, okay, this is actually pretty easy. Okay, so we grab the hair. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> what the hell am I doing? No, that's not it. Okay, so she grabs the hair, she uses her other hand and kind of takes a small layer off the top. This looks so simple and this is why it's annoying me because I know it, oh, okay, it is simple, that's why. And then you pull it through. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was almost it. I think that I'm doing it right, but it's just not working the same way theirs is. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's, I guess, a ponytail, right? I did the easiest hair hack ever, and it took me a good five minutes to figure it out. You guys are probably like, what the f***, Brad? How could you not do that before? It's so easy. And I'm like, <laughs> like, sorry. Obviously, you put the hair into a ponytail, you put your fingers through, and then you grab the hair, and you pull it. Ooh, there goes my rings. And you pull it through like that. That's ugly as f Let me make it prettier. <laughs> Someone please escort her off set, please. Who? You. We're gonna put the finger through and we're gonna pull the pony through the hole. And that's how you do it. Oh, and ignore this single piece. Just, we'll just hide that over here. That is, I guess, like a ponytailless ponytail. Actually seems pretty useful. Would you do this, Emma? A ponytailless ponytail? Uh, no. No? I don't think so. Your hair's not long enough. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. So she's running a mile, like she's at school and she has to run. She's not an elastic, so she's doing this. Is it gonna stay in? Is it gonna stay in? It's gonna stay in? Nope, it's not gonna stay in. It's a good temporary fix, you know? I don't hate it. Would I say you should try it? Yes. I actually do think it's very useful because you don't always have a hair tie on you. And for those days, you need to just put it up real quick. It's not gonna stay super well, but it's going to get off your back, which I think is the point, right? Like, I don't think it's to look cute. I think you should try. I think it's pretty cool. I approve of that. Okay, up next, we have a video by Kenna Flynn, and we're gonna do a flat iron hack with this one. Okay, so she's basically talking about how she didn't know how to curl her hair with a flat iron, which is honestly a problem with a lot of girls. Y'all don't know how to do your hair. She learned a different way of doing it, and it's apparently easier for her. So she wraps it around the flat iron, pulls the hair downwards, uh, hopefully she gets a curl out of it. And she shook that she has a curl. More or less, this is basically how, you know, you're supposed to do it. It's sort of a runaround way of doing it, like how any hairstylist would do it. But I guess it makes it easier for the everyday person to do a curl. So I don't never done it like this, but I'm willing Willing to learn. We are putting the hair over the iron. Oh, wrapping it around and then putting it back through and then pulling it down. This is weird. And there we go. We have a gorgeous corkscrew curl. It actually looks really flawless, I'm not gonna lie. However, what the hell happened here? What's this? It doesn't get that whole top half of the hair when you do it like this. I mean, it definitely works. Like, was she lying? No. All you gotta do is take the iron, put it on the hair, and turn it halfway back. And then you got a curl that goes all the way up to the root. I love how y'all think it's easier to wrap the hair around the flat iron like this rather than just clamp it down and turn it halfway. Why would 
this be easier for you guys? I'm getting mad. <sighs> Explain to me this one. Somebody in the comments, just let me know because I don't get it. This looks way prettier. It's just me and we can disagree. <laughs> if that makes it easier for you to curl your hair with a flat iron, then go for it. Doesn't make it any easier for me, that is for sure. But give it a shot. If that helps you curl hair, then good for you. I'm so proud of you that you can finally curl your hair with a flat iron, especially this girl who made this video. I'm so proud of you. Great job, girl. Our next hack is by Audrey Victoria. Okay, we got one ponytail at the very top of her head. Wow, she's beautiful, really shiny, gorgeous, healthy hair. Wow, it looks like silk. Okay, well, she's one at the bottom. I'm losing track of what's going on. She's now looping the top one through her, its own self. And now there's another ponytail on the bottom going through the loop, doo -doo, loopy loop. And now, oh, uh-huh. Right, it's this. She is getting a Ariana sort of ponytail and there is an Ariana track playing in the background. So I think that's the goal is to get this Ariana like plumped up ponytail moment and in a kind of easy way. It's not very cute, but maybe it's cuter in person. And I definitely need to try this. It looks even off in the video, I must say. So my bar for this one is set really, really low. Hopefully it can come through and something really good can happen with this one. Let's try it out. Let's do it. My goal here is to make mine look better than the girls. You know, hers look good but I feel like I could make this look actually really good, um, like even better than what it's supposed to be with some real nice sectioning going on. Uh, right behind the ear, we're gonna pull that hair up there. She has the thickest hair. I can hardly even section it. I feel like this ponytail needs to be a bit higher. Let's bring it up further. Let's keep going up. Okay, that looks good. Let's throw a little hair tie in here. We are now going to add a second ponytail onto the first ponytail. Let's throw this in here. Okay, well, something isn't looking right here to me. It seems as if I made the bottom ponytail too skinny because this is supposed to go over this one at the end and like cover it up. This one is way too thick. So I think I'm going to adjust this, hold on. So we adjusted the top ponytail to have as little hair as possible because it really just acts as like a little bump it moment underneath the other ponytail. So let's put the other one in now that we have more hair, I think this is gonna work a lot better. So now we lift this top ponytail up, stick our hands in here, and we pull the ponytail through. <laughs> Ew. Now all we have to do to finish this off is just put this bottom ponytail through this loop at the top. Definitely make sure you don't use black hair ties if you have blonde hair. I just wanted to show you where the hair ties were. We have pulled it through the top layer, now we're gonna let it down, and hopefully we have a really cute ponytail. It's gonna be a no. Like, I just imagine somebody having no idea what the back looks like, and they're like, okay, the front looks like decent. I don't even think they would say that, but like, they walk out and they have no idea that <laughs> this whole thing is parting on the sides. Like, ew. And then she's like, hey, girl, what's up? And her girlfriends are like, um, love the hair, chicky. And she's like, thanks, girl, learn it on TikTok. It's really bad. It was just a lot of work and a lot of like complicated maneuvering that ended up in the worst style possible. Let's just leave this one behind. Um, I will never ever be doing that again. I actually had high hopes for that too. So I'm kind of sad about it. The next TikTok is by Nesha Mamacita. And this is hair hack using the clothes dryer to dry my extensions. I'm interested. I don't know if any of you are like me that literally wait till the day of your appointment to wash your hair extensions and guess what? You realize you're running out of time. Oh my gosh, hair's still wet. So here's a little hack to help you with that. I've never needed a hack more in my life. I hate drying extensions. It takes forever and I feel like they never dry. So this will be good for me. You put the extensions there. You need a hair tie. Okay. We're gonna tie it so that they're all in a bundle. Wrap them up. You get them and you're gonna put them in the dryer. Oh, we're putting them in the dryer. Okay. Is this safe? <laughs> okay, so the dryer has stopped and let's check it out. So the hair has unraveled, but guess what, baby? It's dry and it's ready for installment. Texture still looking good. Try it out, ladies. Do you think we should like put a hair tie around the towel so the hair doesn't fall out? That way the hair dries like smoother and straighter. Like I'm gonna hack this hack. The hair came out so ratty and like curled and it doesn't look the best. I feel like I could do this way better, but we'll see. Any of you guys with hair extensions knows how annoying it is to dry these things. I'm getting more and more excited as I go with this. What I'm gonna do is gently brush them all out, make them nice and smooth, put them all down onto our towel after they have been brushed out. Mm -hmm. 
And now what we're gonna do is roll this up, make sure nothing moves out of place. And now we're going to put elastics on both ends. There's the hair extensions inside of here. They are locked in tight. And now we're gonna throw this in the dryer and hope for the best. And hope I don't blow up my house. Okay, let's do it. This towel is very warm. It feels dry. I had a little trouble because my washing machine shuts off when it doesn't think anything's wet inside of it. It definitely kept on shutting off because the towel is dry um, and I had to keep restarting it. But it's been like 25 minutes. Let's see if they are dry yet. I don't know. If they aren't, I give up, whatever. <laughs> but they did stay in the towel quite nicely. So I'm happy about that. Ooh, please be dry. Please be dry. Please be dry. <laughs> Why? No, they're not even close to being dry. You would need to put these in there for like an hour. I think if you just put them in the dryer, they'll dry very quickly, I'm sure, because they're bouncing around and getting fluffed up. However, you're gonna get nasty situation going on if you dry it like that. So I'm not gonna be trying that because these are good extensions and I don't want to wreck them. I really was hoping this was gonna work. It was gonna help me so much because I hate drying extensions, but oh well, I guess we'll have to resort back to the old blow dryer or the old air dry moment. Don't try that one at all. The next hack is a little, a little crazy. This TikTok is by It's About Amanda. She has carrots in her hair. Can't believe I'm doing this. And I went to my local farmer market to find these humongous carrots that fit perfectly with my length of hair. Oh my God, we just- What in the- what is going on? Back down from a challenge, I was gonna make these carrots work. I can't believe I'm doing this. Is she curling her hair with carrots? At this point in my life, I didn't think I was gonna be curling my hair with carrots, but you know what? It's all part of the journey. These are the largest carrots I've ever seen. Is this how carrots are supposed to look? Like when they're not genetically modified? Like I don't understand. Let's see how they came out. Time to take them out. Let me just say, I was not confident at all, but when I seen that first curl drop, I was instantly in love. Oh my God. This is really pretty. And it came out so good. Just Whoa. So love. They came out super bouncy and Yo, her hair is so long. Smells so good. I realize I have a habit when I get really pretty curls, I tend to bounce around a lot. Well, that was a lot of energy and holy shit, her hair is so long and so pretty. Those carrots seem like they were doing something for her. So I need to try this. Okay, I'm sorry about this one, Miss Maddie, but we're about to put carrots in your head. These are multicolored carrots, okay? These were large. The interesting part about carrots is that they have a lot of moisture in them. So I don't really know how well the hair is gonna dry, but maybe as the carrots dry out, the hair will dry out as well. And it'll create like a really majestic, magical, shiny curl. Let's just begin. Why is this my life? How did it come to this? We're gonna dampen the hair a bit, get a little moisture, and we're gonna put this carrot in. I put a little body pin, that way the hair doesn't slip off the top. That's what she did. And we're gonna wrap it around the carrot. What the f am I doing? Okay, we have the carrot in place. Now we're going to pin it into the carrot. Okay, it's not staying. Well, the bottom is staying, but the top is not. Don't know how she made this stay in place. Let's see. Maybe like she pinned the top. If it's gonna stay, it works for me, okay? This time we got a yellow carrot. We'll pin that baby into place. The good thing is they're easy to pin into. All right, that's staying. Good, good, good. And one more pin at the bottom. If that ain't a good looking set of carrots, I don't know what is. We have to get an orange carrot in there. And just like that, three carrots right in the head. We're gonna let this dry and hope that it comes out with beautiful curls, just like the video we saw. So I believe our carrots have officially dried. Let's see if we have beautiful curls like the girl did. All right, moment of truth. Oh, oh, okay. How do I get this off? I'm kind of excited. I don't know. This is so stupid, but it's like fun at the same time. Does this work? Yes, it does. I just ruined it. Ah! Well, you saw what it looked like. It definitely worked. I think it wasn't fully dry on the thicker parts. It definitely took a really long time to dry and the ends dried it much nicer. And that's why the curls are a lot tighter and prettier down here. This is my fault from the bobby pins, but I didn't know how else to pin it. So we had to do that. I'm gonna say this one was cool. It's a waste of carrots though. I would rather eat them, but oh well. Three carrots down. I'm gonna say I didn't hate the hack because I thought it was really fun and it did work, but I would absolutely never do it if I were you. Just use a curling iron. I swear, it's not worth your time. Don't do it, don't try. I actually learned a little bit. Is there anything that I'm gonna take from this video and actually try and use more in real life? Not really. 
Oh, come here. Say hi to everybody. They miss you. Sit down. Oh, well, it was fun anyways. Maybe I could help you with something. I'm so sorry you sat through this entire video. It was probably a lot. <laughs> I don't know. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you do right down below. And click the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. You can text me at this number right here. Yes, it is really connected to my phone. Yes, I do see some of your messages. And yes, I'll be replying to a few of you guys if you text me right now. This number will also keep you notified every time I post a new video on YouTube. Make sure you follow me everywhere else. Here are all my social media handles all around me. Go for it. If you guys would like to live your extra life, like I always am, baby, um, you can shop my Live Your Extra Life merch now. It is all so damn cute. I wear it every single day. You can shop it with the link below or at xmondohair.com. If you'd like to check out my hair care line and my color line or get this color on my head, it is super red. You can shop my hair colors and my hair care products at xmondohair.com. It is linked below for you. You can also get some hair inspiration on our Instagrams, at xmondohair for hair care and at xmondohair color for color. They are linked below as well. You wanna do the Instagram shout out today? No? Okay, I'll do it. Thank you, a little shoulder rub there. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Gina B. Any comments or advice would be hella helpful. I've had the same hair for years, naturally curly, fried ends, what the do I do with it? I'm tired of looking dull and like everyone else and my stylist just won't suggest anything. Okay, all right, all right, I see, I see. You have quite beautiful curls, I love them. I think you should add more highlights to your hair. I would highlight the entire top of your hair. I would make it all bright blonde. I think it would look so fabulous on you. And maybe a bit shorter, like up to here. That way you get more fullness in your hair, more curl, it's not as weighed down. I think it would look stunning. If you end up doing it, I would love to see a photo and good luck. That's all for today guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to live your extra life and i'll see you next time bye guys